As an assistant winemaker at Jordan Winery, I'm really in charge of quality control of both the Chardonnay and Cabernet. So this means as the fruit comes in, monitoring the fermentations, whether adding the right yeast, making sure the temperatures are appropriate, and that the wine gets enough oxygen throughout fermentation. I'm also in charge of tasting all the wines after during pressing and making sure that all the white wines go into the correct blend. And even during aging, that we're getting enough oak and not too much oak, and there's enough French versus American oak, so there's a lot of taste involved. And then bottling, whether it's checking out the glass, the label, the cork, all of it. As soon as the wine goes through the line, checking every single stage on the bottling line. What I love most about my job is the combination of art and science. I mean, it's not just straight chemistry and in the lab. You're also out in the vineyard and you used to get to use your palate and trust your palate and use the science to back it up. So it's kind of a nice blend of the two. From high school on, I always really wanted to study winemaking. I just thought it was a really fascinating uh, career, and I really liked the hands-on science aspect of it. But my first harvest, when I was working in the cellar, it was late at night. We were crushing, I think, at like 2 in the morning. And it was just, I looked outside, and it was gorgeous. And it was just one of those moments where it's like, okay, this is what I'm meant to do. I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's kind of an area for brewing. So fermentation's kind of always been in my family. My dad worked for Miller Brewing Company for a number of years. But we would always vacation in, in wine country. And since my dad was around beer all the time, we never had beer. It was always wine on the table. So I was associated with family and friends and getting together. So it, wine was always just a very positive thing in our family. So it seemed natural to study viticulture and enology at UC Davis. If there's anyone who wants to study winemaking, I would tell them to go work a harvest first. So you get an idea of the crazy hours and how, how much really goes into making wine. And also, you should know that there's a lot of science involved. There's a lot of biochemistry and microbiology. I think a lot of people just think it's, oh, it's fun fermentation, but there's a lot of science you have to study before you get to even the general winemaking classes. My favorite thing about working at Jordan is the investment that the Jordan family puts into the fruit sourcing, all the machinery, and everything we have. We are state of the art here. We're always looking to improve our process. We're not just trying to stay in the dark ages. We're always changing, getting the best fruit. So basically, we're able to play around with the best grapes out there. One of the most challenging parts of my job is that I have control issues. I really want to be out there and tasting the wines all, all the time. And it's difficult. I can't go and taste every single barrel every day for obvious reasons. But I just I worry about each individual barrel and I wish I could be out there tasting more and making sure that everything's perfect. When I'm not at the winery, my husband and I are both from the Midwest, so we are constantly hosting family and friends. So we're having dinners, going out for dinner in Sonoma County, or tasting wineries. So we're always having some sort of group of hosting.